You know, there's a trend right now of dudes thinking it's cool to just wear a plain colored t-shirt. But I like to use my t-shirts to let the world know what it is I'm into. I'm a car guy. And so that's why I've got a Vice Grip Garage shirt on. Because I want people to know that I like cars and I like the way, you know, Vice Grip does things. So if you like the way we do things here at DPV, we've got t-shirts. Finally doing our own merch again. So we got the original full-size Jeep t-shirt here. We've got the Days of Pain and Victory logo. You know, V8, vintage V8 style logo. Pretty sweet. And we got the fan favorite, Safety Third. It ain't first, but at least it's on the podium. You know, I package and ship all these shirts myself. We had the local high school make them for us. They're high quality, super comfortable. So if you're looking for a cool automotive t-shirt from our YouTube channel, check out the link in the top of the description. That's our store and uh, we're gonna get one shipped out to you. The other thing, the best way to stay in contact with us is through our newsletter, through our email. So also at the top of the description, there is a link to get on our email list so we can stay in contact. In those emails, I'm showing you, you know, behind the scenes content, some of the stuff that uh, is going on between videos, um, you know, sneak peeks, to other projects and whatnot. So you're not gonna miss that. And then plus, that's the best way to find out about the different events we're going to and the different events that we're putting on. Speaking of events, um, we're doing the Underpowered Tour this year, which the Underpowered Tour, if you're not familiar, that's our take on the Hot Rod Power Tour. So, Hot Rod Power Tour is kind of out of the question for us right now. Someday, it's definitely on the bucket list, but we've made a smaller version called the Underpowered Tour, and it's usually just, uh, you know, two or three days and about 500 miles or so. That's going to be September 8th through the 10th. Um, in central Washington this year. Super excited. We're going to check out the racetrack in Yakima. Um, so definitely be on the lookout for that. I want to tell you about some of the projects we got going on right now. So the reason why the video has been so sparse lately is uh, I've got a huge project, remodel project on my house. I told you guys about this, uh, I don't know, fall last year. I thought it would move a little faster than it has. But that's the way these things go. So let me show you that real quick. Check it out. Isn't that sweet? Now, the last time I showed you guys on this channel, there was not a room here. This was literally just uh, the middle of the trusses. And so moving right along, got all the built-ins framed up. Um, this is where the soap pipe is for our Wood, put, wood fireplace, um, but yeah, getting, getting close. We got one more finished coat of mud to do, um, but yeah, this is gonna be a very nice addition to our house. Beautiful window, it's just pouring rain today. So. Pretty sweet, so. Anyway, um, if you're interested in this project, uh, I've got a full playlist in my other channel, so I'll leave a link for that down in the description or put a link right up here. Um, if, yeah, if you're interested in the construction aspect, remodeling aspect, um, there's a lot of good content on that, so you'll want to check that out. So let's get back to the shop. So yeah, that project is taking up a ton of my time, but we're getting so close to finishing that thing up. Probably uh, mid-July, we'll have that wrapped up, and then I've got a ton of stuff lined up for this channel, and I'm excited. We've got boxes of parts. Uh, we've got this cute little carburetor I gotta rebuild. Um, got a 454. What's this going in? Leave a comment below. The Jeep, we gotta swap the transmission. Transmission's toast. Um, so what I'm gonna do is put in uh, my spare Turbo 400. I have no idea if it works or not, um, but we're gonna throw it in there and see if we've got all the gears and uh, then start working on the cage because it's just not safe to bring my family along with just a sheet metal 
top, you know, so, um, and I have almost all the material to do it. So we're gonna start that. We have the top for the Super Beetle. So we're gonna be doing a video on the top install, getting the interior all finished up, and we gotta tidy up that fuel system. And then we've got more revivals. I'm super excited about doing revivals. Um, they've so far been a lot of fun, super challenging. It is not as easy as they make it look on the other YouTube channels and the other shows. Like it's a lot of work, but it is very fun. Um, and gosh, I've, we've probably got, I don't know, five or six lined up, um, available to us. Some of them are ours. Some of them are friends. Uh, so super cool. And, uh, also Baja 1000 this year, first ever northward bound peninsula run. I'm pretty dang excited. Trophy trucks looking awesome. So anyway, Grab yourself a t-shirt, link in the description, get signed up for our newsletter, and uh, yeah, wheel it, wreck it, wrench it, repeat. We'll see you next time.